Um, the top Texas um, Republicans have been key promoters of the Charles and Mules, um, which is a debunked film by GOP political operative Dinesh D'Souza that falsely claims that there was significant voter fraud during the 2020 presidential election. Um, now, the Texas... Um, now, um, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton's office, which oversees the investigations into voter fraud, screened the movie this summer, according to a recent Associated Press story that detailed ongoing dysfunctional and, politi- and the politicization in Paxton's office. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick and three other Houston area legislators sponsored a uh, my watch party at a local church in June, according to the church's website. And Texas Agriculture Commissioner Sid Miller, who has a history of spreading political falsehoods on social media, had recently cited the film as part of the reason he continues to believe the 2020 election was stolen from former squatter Donald Trump, even though the election was not stolen. Now, in June, at the same time that millions of Americans were turning into the first congressional hearing on the January 6th Klan attack um, at the U.S. Capitol, Miller was scheduled as a special guest um, speaker at a screening of the Tales of Mules by the Dallas Jewish Conservatives, according to the group's website. Now, also featured at the event was Sidney Powell, a Dallas lawyer and Trump sycophant, who currently faces a $1.3 billion defamation lawsuit by a voting machine company, that she, um, which is Dominion, that she and other conspirators, conspirators, have, conspirators have targeted. Now, the, st- the, st- the state bar of Texas has also pursued disciplinary action against Powell for filing the lawsuit speculating that fraud was committed. Now, the state, the, state bar, um, the state bar pursued similar action against Paxton. Twelve days after that event with Miller and Powell, the Republican, Party of Tex- the Republican Party of Texas screened 2,000 mules three times during its annual convention at which Patrick vowed to significantly increase criminal penalties for illegal voting and delegates codified their denial of the 2020 election results into the party's official platform. Um, now, the film, the film claims... Um, the film's claims are directly contradicted by rulings in at least 50 lawsuits brought by Trump and his sycophants challenging the outcome of the election. The Republican-appointed judges presided over nearly half of those lawsuits and dismissed them, according to one analysis. Now, Trump's closest confidants included his daughter, wife Ivanka, and former U.S. Attorney General Fat Fuck Barr, who Trump appointed, have repeatedly thrown, have thrown cold water on Trump's unsubstantiated claims and conspiracies of, of, in the conspiracies of, widespread, of the widespread voter fraud. Um, neither Patrick... Paxton or Miller could be reached for comment this week, and their campaigns did not respond to a, to any emails, um, email questions. Now, Miller's Democratic challenger in the race for agriculture commissioner, Susan Hayes, said the film was one of many ongoing attacks on our democracy and called Miller unethical and un-American for promoting it. The GOP's um, continued embrace of the film has concerned has concerned election experts such as Paul Gronke, who's the director of the Elections and Voting Information Center at Reed College. Now, Gronke noted that the film's findings have been routinely debunked, which also in, also including by Barr, who mocked the film as indefensible, and he laughed at it earlier this year. It is a sad, it's a sad situation when political leaders, rather than competing for the votes of citizens with good policies, instead promote misinformation and false claims about the elections as part of a crass political strategy because they think that making voting harder and more complicated will lower turnout and help their side. Now, and the deepest irony of this all is that historically, voters who, who, um, who use absentee voting and voting by mail have leaned Republican. Now, the, vote, the, voting rights, um, the voting rights groups similarly say that they, that they fear the film will fuel chaos in the upcoming midterm elections that could be a pretext for more restrictive voting laws in the future. Anthony Gutierrez, um, who's an executive director of the, um, of the Texas chapter of the watchdog group Common Calls, said that the showing of the film at Paxton's office is particularly concerning because of Paxton's long-standing embrace of unfounded voter fraud conspiracies and his role in prosecuting electoral crimes, which, which, um, are, exceed- which are exceedingly rare. Um, back in 2005, <coughs> now, back in 2005, um, going from 2005 up to now, the Texas Attorney General's website says the office has prosecuted 155, um, 155 people for 534 election fraud offenses, and which is good for about 5% of the 11 million people that, that um, voted in Texas. Um, now, Paxton hosting a watch party for this completely debunked work of fiction is next-level disinformation, um, Gutierrez said. It's not like Paxton is a person who has no impact on elections, but he is constantly doing things to impact elections. It's all kind of alarming, and it sets off all the red flags. The Sousa, who pleaded guilty in 2014 to campaign finance fraud and was later pardoned by Trump, gets top billing on the film. But activists from True, from True the Vote... A Houston-based, um, a Houston-based vote monitoring organization, 
that has pushed election conspiracies are listed as ex executive producers in the film, and it borrows heavily from their discredited research. Now, turn now turn the boat has previously been accused of swindling um, donors and has close ties to Paxton, who reportedly declined to release records about the group or say that if he, investi if he investigated complaints against it when journalists inquired earlier this year. Paxton is being sued by whistleblowers in his office and is currently under the investigation and he's curr and he's currently under investigation for felony for felony for felony securities fraud, but he also advocated for true the boat for true the boat's founder in 2016, when the Texas Supreme Court left, looked into claims that her previous nonprofit um, was acting was acting overtly political. Um, this is what Reveal News reported. Now, the film has other ties to the Lone Star State. Irving based Irving based Salem Media Group also has a produce has also produced the credits. And also is listed as the main distributor of the film. Salem, Salem, a massive Christian broadcaster that has for decades had deep ties to fundamental Christian groups and conservative politicians in May, bragged that that 2000 Mills was the most successful political documentary in a decade. Um, no, it's not. Salem said the film was seen by more than one million people, which I doubt that. That was which I doubt that, and it grossed more than 10 million in revenue in its first two months, which I doubt that either. Um, last month Salem lowered its third quarter revenue expectations after Decisions book of the same name was recalled. Somehow, a significant error got misspelled by the pub but got missed by the publisher. Um, this is what Denusa ha explained on Twitter. In June, um, two thousand mules was reportedly shown at Cottonwood Creek Church in Allen, in Allen um, which I'm not sure where the town Allen is, where outgoing Republican State Representative Scott Sanford is the executive pastor. The Bryan College Station Tea Party also screened the film at the headquarters of the Bryan County Republican Party, according to the group's website. Now, back in May. Um, the Coastal Bend Republican Coalition in Corpus Christi hosted a watch party, citing a glowing reveal of the film from the Epo from the Epic Times, which is another Trump nut looking um, nut looking newspaper, which I would not care to read because it's also disinformation on that. A website with ties to far right Chinese spiritual movement that has promoted apocalyptic Q apocalyptic QAnon and anti vaccine conspiracies, and D'Souza has written more than fifty articles for the Epo for the Epic Times, which I would not, which I like I said I don't read. Now, if you like the video, you can get the video, like, and subscribe to my channel, RBW King. You can also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when a new video comes out. And if you want to support my work even further, you can donate to my Patreon link, which you can find in the about section of YouTube. And for just a little as a few bucks a month, your donation can help go a long way. And thanks for listening.